G'day mate, 40 here by the Sydney Opera House. So I'm listening to this uh, New Yorker article on do we change over the course of our life, right? There are some people who see things more in terms of you know, staying the same, continuity, and other people who see themselves more in terms of distinct phases. But uh, there was one breakdown of personalities from a study at the University of Dunedin in New Zealand. And they divide people into three camps that there are those who move towards life. Right, so I think that would be roughly compatible with the secure attachment. So when people like you and you like them and they're good for you, you move towards them. When people treat you badly, you move away from them. So, so that's probably the dominant personality type where you move towards life, you move towards people. And then there are those who move away from people. So if you're joining a new school in eighth grade, right, those who move towards will make friends, join clubs, you know, get socially active. And then those who move away will read a lot of books. So I guess I'm a personality that likes to move away. And then those who move against will cause trouble. So you've got a part of me that likes to move towards life, a large part of me that likes to move away from life and live stream and read books. And then another part of me that likes to move against life. And this refers to the criminally inclined and the thrill seekers. So I've got some, some thrill seeking personality traits. But I think you, you see these tendencies all around you. There are those who there are those who move towards other people, towards connection. There are those who move away. Then there are those who move against. And so, if you have a relationship with someone who moves away, then that person is not likely to be very social. Right? You're not going to be able to take them to a lot of social events. They're going to need a lot of time on their own. So we're probably talking about an avoidant personality. Then someone who moves against the world, right? Talking about someone who's low in, a, in agreeableness. It's going to create a lot of turbulence. It's going to rub a lot of people the wrong way, right? So easiest relationships, I would think, would be two people who tend towards, move towards life, towards each other towards other people, towards connection. And if you get a marriage between someone who moves towards and someone who moves away, I think there'd be a lot of emptiness and lack of connection. And if someone who moves towards life marries someone who moves against life, against the world, right? again, a lot of conflict. I have a hard time imagining that, that would go too well. It, there are socially effective personalities and less socially effective personalities. So socially effective personalities, above average in agreeableness, above average in conscientiousness, more extroverted than introverted, open to new experience, and low in neuroticism. And Jews, generally speaking, have these types of personalities. Right? These are the personalities that tend to make for success in life. To be more extroverted than introverted, to be less erotic, to have openness to new experience, to be more conscientious than average, and to be more agreeable than disagreeable. Right? People who are more agreeable, they're obviously going to get along better with other people, they're going to have a better reputation in the community, people are more likely to like them. So there, there are studies that show that Jews have more socially effective personalities. Now we can shape our personality to some degree. We all tend to become more conscientious as we age, we tend to become more agreeable as we age, we tend to become less neurotic as we age.
and we can do concrete things to become more conscientious, more agreeable, more extroverted, more open, it's new experience, and less neurotic. And we're looking out at the beautiful Sydney Harbour. There's the Sydney Harbour Bridge, there are tours where you can walk to the top. I think I see a bunch of people top the Sydney Harbour Bridge right now.